recommendation to anyone that is planning on leaving something to your relatives. Okay, make out a will. <laughs> okay, not only make out a will. For example, this is Britain. You're saying you're going to leave all the stuff to your family, toys, comics, and stuff like this. Specifically say how you're going to leave it to them. Because when you die, and you're going to die at some point, right? The government, your, uh, what do you call it? Executor, power, whatever. Executor, if, if you die, that's what they call it. They're going to step in. They're going to say, okay, this is, your assets are supposed to be distributed among your family. Well, you can't distribute really assets like individual comics or toys and stuff like this unless you have valued each one, right? So what they'll end up doing is liquidating everything. And whoever's going to buy that, it's going to be a state sale and it's going to be uh, pennies on the dollar or it's going to be at, least at, a, at a discount. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, right? So in your will, you could actually specify, you know what, I have 100 boxes of comics and you start off with the youngest one, they get the first one, start from somewhere, do the count on them, random, right? They get the first one, next one gets the next one, next one gets the next one. Do it something like that, right? Because they will have to liquidate if not. The toys specify who gets what. So it's bureaucracy, pain in the ass. Make sure your executor is aware you're, it's in your will or whatnot because there are no matter how much you love your family, how many good members you have in your family, there's always a holes in families, and they're gonna. All you need, all you need is one a hole <laughs> to create some chaos, right? If you have two, oh damn! If you got three, no oh, damn! <laughs> it gets more chaotic. Uh, just a heads up, this is Britain. Okay, just a heads up. Um, didn't want to ruin anything. The the joy of leaving stuff like that uh, for family, but uh, it's important.